he, he finds out, he finds Bill Forbes, you know, he finds Caroline's father because he, he feels that, you know, Bill Forbes was able to resist compulsion. And so he figures not only is this, you know, the girl that he wants to be with, that's her father, but he figures, you know, if he could resist compulsion, maybe he can teach me some way to uh, resist uh, the sire bond uh, to Klaus. So, and again, you know, he's, he's trying to be with Caroline. He just told her he loves her. So he's trying to make better by, by you know, it's in our supernatural world, he's bitter, but it's like, I feel like, you know, say you cheated on your girlfriend, you're trying to make things right, or if you did something really wrong, and that's what he's just trying to do. He's just trying to correct his his mistakes so much so that you know he's grabbing uh, Caroline's father. Oh, uh, because it was at the end of the episode, I was like, oh, "Where's this going from here?" Because it wasn't established. Like, okay, I was I was upset because um, you know I run away, and I'm like, "Why would he? What's going on? Why would he run away?" But I figured that he's just in as much shock as she is, and all she wants is you know him to get out of there, and he can't. He doesn't, so many things are probably racing through his head, like, how did he do that? Um, so I figured that's why he just panicked and, and, and ran off. Uh, it's, it's always funny, because when it's big moments like that on our show, I always ask myself, like, okay, how are they going to get themselves out of this one? Like, they always write it, but then I'm like, how are you getting out of this? How's this, how's this going to work? And it always ends up working out, but I, I, I'm just amazed by it. I'm like, okay, well... You know, which person's going to come in with a magic spell or some kind of different dagger or some potion or, you know, I, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, there's just so much. There's so much. So, uh, I, I enjoy it though. I enjoy it. Right. It's, it's, it's totally known that, you know, there's a sire bond between Tyler and Klaus and we believe that, you know, he has to follow whatever orders Klaus gives Tyler. But, uh, at, you know, at the end of last week's episode, we find out that as much free will as Tyler thinks he has, you know, that sire bond is really a lot stronger than anybody could have imagined. So much so that, you know, he's literally bites Caroline um, unwillingly. You know, he's just as shocked as her, like, wow, how did I do that? Why did I do that? So the, the sire bond is something really not to be uh, taken lightly. I, I, I think in our, which was probably, what, maybe four episodes ago when, when um, uh, Tyler drank Elena's blood and... and transformed into this full-on hybrid you know it was those episodes where he was just happy he had this he could compel people and he had this total new swagger to him a new attitude and confidence uh and he felt that he was chosen you know because every male figure in tyler's life has, has either left or gone or passed away or has been killed and so you know he might i feel like there's this little complex of like daddy issues you know and then he has his mother but she's not really there um, but uh, with Klaus, it was like he was chosen by Klaus to become the first hybrid and the first successful hybrid. So uh, I, I feel that, uh, you know, he, he just, he wants to make Klaus happy, but now he sees how evil Klaus is and how, like, oh, maybe this is another curse upon the curse that I already have of being werewolf. Like, you know, so many things are just going wrong with him right now. Everything's just smoke and mirrors, really. Well, you know, like I said in tomorrow's episode, Tyler uh, goes to Bill Forbes and asks for help. And, you know, Bill Forbes is a, is a no-nonsense guy as far as his hatred for vampires and anything vampire. It's the same with, in this instance, you know, basically you can't be with my daughter unless you can get rid of this sire bond. And then it's just about Tyler saying, okay, how do we do this? And in, in tomorrow's episode is when Bill Forbes is like, okay, we got to do this, this, and that. And it's not so simple. I mean, Tyler's like, uh, it's so, a big, like, really? Like, we have to do And so he goes through the list of one, two, and three that needs to be done. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a long journey. It's nothing that, as far as just getting rid of this sire bond, it is not going to happen overnight. Um, so, no, it's going to be a while, I feel, before Tyler can... 100% resist that Sire Bondu Klaus and confront Klaus about it. I, I think just with tomorrow's episode, we'll, we'll find out you know, where, he, where is he going to go? Where does he go from here? Um, we find out that this Sire Bond is, is very serious and it's something that can't be broken very easily and it's going to have to be worked out 
it's going to it's going to be something you have to work at again and again and again and it's going to be like a grueling process for him to find his way out of this uh, sire bond and that's just the journey as far as where Tyler's going to go in the next few episodes I can't I can't answer that <laughs> that's a good question it's a really really good question but if I try to answer that I'm just going to I'm going to give up too much um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll know by the, by the end of tomorrow's episode we'll know by the end like the supernatural element I think I helped myself with the first werewolf transformation with how crazy I got and throwing my body around and everything and and then when the hybrid transformation happened, I did the same in the in the chemistry lab or the classroom. So I think I helped myself in that regard. But for the writers to be like, well, he can go there if we want him to go crazy. You want him to go crazy? Yeah, let's write it. Let's write it in there. And so uh, <laughs> it, it's nice. Um, the, my other castmates, they, they, they like it because they see the transformation. They're like, man, that was tough. That was awesome. It was really good. So that part of it's really nice wrote such an epic scene at the end right there between those two. Um, I, I I don't, because there's been so many triangles, especially with, with Tyler and Caroline and be it Matt or else or somebody else, uh, I don't think they'll we'll go into an, another love triangle between me, Caroline, and somebody else. Um, I think those two might just have a little moment. I, I, I don't, he's, he's not going to appreciate it. I, I don't think he's going to like it one bit. He's going to, again, another struggle of him fighting this sire bond and then where does he cross or is he crossing that line if he tells Klaus hey you know like that's my girlfriend or that's the girl I'm seeing um, this question will definitely be answered by the end of uh, by the end of tomorrow's episode as well as you know the, the following week we'll know we'll know in two weeks as far as uh, where, where Tyler's at and, and and what he's doing that remains to be seen I, I don't know I don't know I he's gonna try he really is, and you'll you'll see in in tomorrow's episode, he he tries uh, so much that you know we have uh, this this transformation. Uh, why it'll be explained? Why we all of a sudden you know we have uh, uh, Tyler trying to transform at will, um, or trying not to transform. Uh, but uh, he he does try, but I, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I think a little bit of both, and what I mean by that is. Uh, fear because he doesn't know what, he, what he's capable of or what Klaus is going to ask him to do. You know, he's being questioned by uh, Alaric and and everybody about, like, what if he told you to jump off a bridge? Like, you know, and he ends saying, yeah, then I guess I'd rip out my heart. Like, fear within that, but rage as far as sticking up to him finally, thinking he has free will when Klaus told him to, to harm and bite Caroline. And I think that rage is, is within the love that he has of Caroline, that he's like, okay, enough's enough. I'm only going to go that far for you. And that's where the, the struggle comes in, where, you know, no matter what he thinks, he's still going to have to do whatever Klaus says. I think he's frustrated. He's frustrated because it's, you know, he didn't ask for any of this. And at, at the end of the day, it seems like he just wants to be with, with Caroline. Uh... But now there's just this other burden of always doing whatever Klaus wants, and he knows that Klaus is at this at this point he knows Klaus is evil, and he's just fed up with it because, you know, he's pissing off all his friends, and he's pissing off his girlfriend, and people are worried about him, because uh, Tyler's just Klaus's little minion, so uh, he's he's upset about it. I'd like to think so. I I honestly I I don't know for sure which way we're going to go at this point. But I would think if he's successful in breaking that, that sire bond in any way, then yeah, he, maybe he takes another, that'd be a nice little arc to go in and try to just like, I don't want anything as far as transformations. I guess maybe I'm a hybrid, but I, I, I can control when I want to transform and when I don't want to. It'd be nice to, to, for him to just be normal again or try to be as normal as possible. Um, I'd like to see it. I, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, d definitely, definitely. But I I you know and even with the work of this season personally, I, when Tyler became a, a hybrid, it's just a whole different character. It's a whole different progression. It's a different attitude, especially within just hybrid transformations in general and being sired to somebody. What is that? So yes, his attitudes change. I mean, each season, you know, it, it's changed. So. Uh, it's it's something that I like as an actor to, to play around with, um, but his his attitudes did definitely change. But he's trying to fight this right now. He's struggling. It's a tug of war with 
you know, trying to be friends with everybody, and but then also, you know, that sire bond to Klaus make him happy with whatever he, you know, wants uh, Tyler to do. I try and because they're all about the same. I don't think anything will ever compare to, to the first werewolf transformation. Um, I just find myself because we have like transformation and what's written on the script isn't in detail like this and that. So when we get together and it's me and the director and whether I'm with Candace or anybody um, in the scene, I kind of add in different things as far as, you know, bringing heavier chains or, or like, can I break a chain this time? Something we haven't seen, you know, as far as bones crunching, like maybe like I, I'll, you know, ask, all right, can, is there any way we can like break my kneecap? Like how can we, how can we do that rather than in the first werewolf transformation, like it was my arm that was twisting back. So it's little things like that. Um, as far as mentally, uh, yeah, you're still going to that dark place, and it's it's a marathon. It, it's it's tough. It's not getting easier, um, but uh, the editor helps a lot because it's it's a lot of that post-production sound effects and visual effects that uh, that help. But they're not they're not getting any easier. I like when I see them because it's it, they're always great as far as uh, the you know how difficult it is uh, for me to prepare for it but uh, it's a love hate with those when I read them in scripts and I'm like oh not again it's those little things yeah you know I, I'd have to say it's uh, the episode where I, I turn into a hybrid because I was just I was actually really happy about it you know when I read it and it's a lot of responsibility with that and knowing that uh, Julie Pleck decided okay we're gonna go this route so soon um, it was nice, and then also to finally, you know, uh, Joseph Joseph Morgan is great. To finally uh, just work with somebody new uh, is awesome. But that episode, I'm almost certain everybody was in that episode, and sometimes that's not the case. A lot of people are off an episode or two, and in that one, we all I like those big uh, episodes where or those big scenes where there's four or five of us because usually it's just one on one with you know I'm always having <coughs> scenes with with Candace and stuff. But uh, it's nice to to work with everybody, and we're all on set, and there's you know, five of us in one scene. It's 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 nice because that, that rarely ever happens. Uh, I I couldn't I couldn't tell you about the the witches to be honest. There's there's so much of this show that I can try and get down alone. Um, I I I can tell you though her mother's gonna be here for a <clears> while. <throat> Bonnie's mother's gonna be in in Mystic Falls for a while. She's she's here and um, I guess it, it's more that's more. Stefan and Damon's doings, even with uh, Elena, um, but I, I don't think uh, Bonnie's mom's ever gonna mix in with Tyler and what he has going on, just trying to get things right with Caroline. I think right right now it's just because uh, of you know Bill Ford being Caroline's father, he's gonna stay there at that point and, and just and just stay with him, and we know by tomorrow what Tyler has to do. And so he's just gonna he's just gonna do it. I don't think he's gonna go elsewhere to anybody else and for help. I think it's just this what needs to be done. Bill Forbes, you're right. Okay, let's do it and and that's what we see tomorrow.